Hello, I'm Vincent P. Crawford, President, CEO and sole remaining employee at Lotus Notes. Thank you for swimming against the tide and choosing Lotus Notes. In its day, Lotus Notes was one of the leading email programs. Back in the 1980s it was an option on PC Juniors, Commodore 64s and Tandy TRS 80s, and when you support Lotus Notes, your money doesn't go to line the pockets of rich, pack Northwest, coffee drinking hipsters. Your money goes directly to the defense fund fighting against the bogus, frivolous, class action lawsuit filed against Lotus Notes by big business. Now, I'd like to give you a preview of the additional functionality you can expect from Lotus Notes over the next five years, or possibly three years with good behavior. We have a patch for our auto signature bug. Today, when you included a logo in auto signature, an act our manual clearly advises against, it can get corrupted when read in Outlook. But with our newest version, we've updated our manuals with instructions for how to delete your logo to prevent this error from ever happening in the first place. It's part of our new behavior modification strategy, where rather than attempting to debug our ancient and fragile computer code, we modify user behavior to resolve major issues. Another example is with our out-of-office feature. It is so unreliable and buggy. We recommend our users either not use this feature or simply avoid taking vacation altogether. The benefits of this strategy are huge. Not only do you avoid annoying bugs, but your friends and employers don't think you are a slacker who would rather vacation than work hard. Also, over the past 20 years, our anti-hacker security has improved by leaps and bounds. As our user base has declined faster than the Apollo 11 space capsule, we are more secure. With such a small user base, hackers no longer bother wasting the 5 to 10 minutes it would take to crack our firewall, knowing it will only impact a few hundred people. Finally, as an added level of service, we've adopted alternative payment systems to give you more convenient ways of paying for upgrades and additional user licenses. Now, in addition to Visa and MasterCard, you have another option. You can now pay using cigarettes. In fact, we prefer cigarettes over other forms of payment. Cigarettes are the only real form of currency around here, so please, just send cigarettes. This concludes part one of our video training series. Collect them all and stay up to date on all of our exciting news. As always, our videos are available in VHS and beta format.